Okay, I'm along a dusty road here, so everything's a little bit weird. Um, but it is late. But, any, uh, but anywho, um, I'm looking at a little shrub here under a little oak. Um, notice that, well, first of all, spikes. These are the old spikes. Um, it is fairly straight wood um, or canes, maybe is the better word. Um, lightly, lightly toothed leaves. I find that they tend to, uh, hmm, not so much, but uh, under high elevations, uh, they tend to smell like oregano. Um, this is a peculiar little thing, but it's named, the common name is named after this, and which are normally white. Um, so this is an ocean spray. You'll notice how straight some of the, the twigs are, especially down here. And so this is something that arrows used to be made out of. And it tends to be like, it tends to prefer kind of moist habitat. Yeah, this is kind of sort of, or the, kind of a bottom of a hill sort of thing. So, um, but anyway, a member of the rose family, um, and therefore probably edible. But anyway, holio, holiodiscus discolor. Now, What's interesting about that is this is exactly the same species that grows in Western Oregon and are much, much more rainfall. Um, so it's managing to struggle out a living. So this thing doesn't get much more than three, four feet tall. Uh, sometimes in uh, Oregon environments, uh, much less. So I don't know if that's terribly interesting, but um, kind of, I don't know if it's indescript, but it certainly has a certain rosaceous feel to it. Uh, no thorns, dare I say. Um, but anyway, um, look at this, this, this color. Um, ocean spray. I think it's got a couple of other names. I think arrowwood is actually one of them too. But anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. I didn't expect to run into that amongst the, uh, well, Rocky Mountain Juniper. And there's another one. And it's, it's under a rock, kind of, sort of. That's probably what's protecting it.